I've been at school as well, from 1984 as a just level one educator. Then I was promoted principal of the school in 1997. This area here, the infrastructure, you see, you see in these days people, they want to live in a place where you can get uh, good things like water, road, where, where they can easily get into the places where they work. You see, the transport in this area is not good, but so that's what that's affect our enrollment because there is uh, another ill of development. It's a township, in fact, which is which has been um, which is nearby now, which was not there b before. So most of the people are moving from this area to where there is better living. Now, since I've been here. Uh, only this uh, block was uh, good. The other block was, it was, there was an old block that side. You see, it had some cracks and everything. So it was not conducive for teaching and learning. I myself, together with educators, we started writing some letters to different companies and even to the department trying to get some money so that you can build the school. Yeah. Fortunately enough, in, by the year 99, we were funded by the department and then they started building that new building in the year 2000 and then they renovated the other building at the extreme end that size and to me it was quite an improvement. This community here, when I arrived, I realized that uh, most of the people are unemployed. Then, even though they're unemployed, but they had, looking at the enrollment of the learners, looking at the enrollment of the learners, uh, actually, I, I took the admission book, where I realized most of the uh, uh, parents here are unemployed. Then I, I thought what to do. I sat down, then after attending some of the workshops where, especially the OPE workshops, where we said we have to call uh, the stakeholders, all the stakeholders together, so that you can make a program, a learning program or a program of action. Then all the parents came up, they came up with the issues that, can be, that are affecting the society, especially the community around here. Then we took, the, we took those problems as the issues that we have to focus on. Um, the things that we have to teach our learners because those are things the community it first came from the community yes as the community said okay these are the issues that they like us to teach their learners then we took all those ideas from the community we brought them together then we formed we took them and we included them in the curriculum we said rather than teaching the learners about something that is foreign to them. It's better to teach them about the things that affect their society. Then we've seen that, that, help, that uh, bringing it, uh, the parents together, sharing with them their ideas, sharing them with them their views, and making them feel as part and parcel of the school, that has helped us a lot. That's why now we use the school as the center for educating them, we organize, uh, upper classes have been organized here. Those who haven't gone to school, those who didn't know how to write, they are coming to school, they now know how to write. And those who didn't finish school, who didn't complete metric, we conduct our classes here for uh, skills development classes. Oh, Okay, <laughs> 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 <
ufunde uzipilisa masophumile esikoleni ingane wazi uzipilisa yona ngale ngokusebenza ngokuqashwa eh othi nje ngathi mina lana sinenhlanhla kaNkulunkulu uthi siqashele othisha eh abazinika ukuthi bazofundisa abazili ukuzosebenza abasebenzeli iphakethe basenzele ukunika ingane umqondo Yaho is about time, the one as I won't love and love. I have a seven zelly mali. But seven zella in gun is eight was a room para to it. Now go over a whole lag of pella water. When I was a buzz in Nigel, the man da book seven by his one and at Nancy is one and a foot. A boy went there and no go good tea. Good tell the old moon in a pound. As a go, convincing as a scholar is born a lot, so what you are going to shine. Me now again, Jemum Zadi. Gabona was born a lot, a sister. We go to give Kamgabanga pound the best off from the singer and a la. Conan Nang and his Okutala and a logo, the general Otis of Pell and Nazo Zaz, but no masses in a circle as calling. Who call no pillar of Gale or Kamgabus or letting on the entry, England in a scholar. Um, looking at our community, looking at the people we live with, looking at our parents, our homes, our school, uh, let's think about the things that are there and the things that are not there, like the, the problems that we have. What problems do we encounter in our place in our environment, in our homes, in our school, in our neighbors. Maybe we can come up with those things. Let's start first with those. It's okay, one? Lake of man. Uh, yes. Lake of houses. Lake of houses, lake of proper houses. Okay, lake of houses. Lake of Lack of electricity. Jabula? Lack of water. Lack of water. And we said, what's the formula for water in science? H2O. Okay, very good. Water, which is H2O. What's it? Lack of nutrition. What else? Uh, embody? Lack of transport. Lack of transport. So it seems as if there is a lot of things that we need in our society. Let's move a little bit from the problems that we have in our society. Right? Yes. Let's, talk now, let's think now about the, the needs. What do we need? What do we need? Yes, uh, we need water. What? Transport. What else? Electricity. We need money. Money? Yes. We need money. What are the needs? Money. Two, three, four, five, six only. Right? Yes. So we have six people here who have parents who are working. And how many of you have parents who are not working at all? In your groups now, what I want you to do, I'm going to give you shots, right? Yes. Where you are going to write down, right? You are going to discuss as groups. If we need money, what should we do? What could we do to get money? To me, I realize that technology is one of the things, or one of the learning areas where you have to solve the problems of the community. Then I focus on technology because I realize that our community has a lot of problems. So in order for those problems to be solved, one has to focus mostly on technology. Before I have to introduce technology, 
I'll help first to identify some of the problems that the people that we're living with have, the problems they have. We make our own shoes. We decide, <coughs> we decide to make shoes by, we are looking at our community, we see the problem of their children who are working with their foods and we also and we also we and we also see uh, the other the, the old people they are also they are also we, we work with with their food so we, so so someone in the class come up with a come up with a solution and he told us how to make shoes and then he he he, he she she he too, he, he told us as a class. Learners, as I realized that learners have to walk, travel long distances barefooted. And I said, I asked them to come and measure their foot. They measure their feet, they got the sizes. Then I, I said, how would it be if they can make their shoes, if they can make shoes, their own shoes using cardboard. I planned it, I said, okay, we do have this material. Because first, where we start, we have to have to know exactly what material do we have, and what material. Rather than asking the parents to buy material, asking the school to buy material, how about using the material that is available in the environment? This is where they started. After they've made the shoes, and I said it's of no use to make a shoe, and they say okay, it's okay, it's uh, it's perfect, but they have to first evaluate it to see how strong is it. Then they wore the shoes and they came out with the ideas. They said, no, they cannot wear these shoes if it's raining. It's not durable. Then I asked them, what, what next? They came up with the ideas that okay, they can make use of the old shoe soles. And I said, they have to collect all, all those old shoe soles where they come from or from their homes. Because learners came up with different shoes, different ideas. Then to stitch it, uh, I said, because we don't have money, then I asked them to what to do. In order, what, what can we do in order to, to get uh, needles, shoe needles? We didn't, I didn't want them to buy shoe needles because we didn't have money. What they did, they said they are able to make needles using old broken uh, umbrella wires, and we didn't have strings. And asked them to get uh, fiber, fiber. If they brought fibre in, into the school, we grinded it fibre, we washed it, we had strings. And I, I taught them the best way how to sew the shoes, which is a cross, uh, cross stitch. How do they feel when their learners are able to do such things? Mm. They say to them it's great because even those learners who, who, who have been given these skills of making shoes, making the problems, they're even doing it at home. Because we, because we see the problem and that, and that problem can help those people who, have, who, who, who don't have money to buy their shoes and also the orphans. Be, because so many people, they, they don't have bed to sleep. Now I decide to make a classmate. I, I, I kept on asking them, what next? If this is not what you think it should be, what should we do? Let's do it this way. Okay, okay. I, I'd like us to see which came out, what solution came out, and uh, most of the groups. And here, yes. making rooms, okay? Looking at all this, which one is common? It came out from all the groups. It is here, was here, it's also here, it's all in all these groups. Which one is it? Which one? Uh, to make problems. The role of the learner, even though we, we say uh, education should be learner-centered, mm. and, and I thought I have to take it a step further. I have to put them in the forefront. And he hits them, and he climbs them. And, and, and feeling. And we take the knife and and we peel him. Take the plum plum stem and we cut into four parts.
and take one part, take one part, and then we cry. Take the sign paper yes. and we peel you, say, say, make smooth. Yes. When you identify the problems, then we came up with, with different solutions. And the common solution was that we have to make what? Rooms. Using the palm stems. And we came up with the resources that we need, or the material that we can use to make these brooms. And uh, thanks to your father, Sandy's father, who even shared information with us, and he shared information. And Sandy, Sianda also shared information with you, what he got from home to us. Uh, actually, I don't look for uh, the problem, community problem in the curriculum, mm. because the curriculum, the curriculum planners or curriculum yeah. designers, they are not able to to identify the problems yes. are all over the place. Yes. Yeah. But because I'm stationed here, mm. I'm, yes, I know the issues. Okay. And even if I can say I know the issues, but I have to work with the community. Because I think education is there to solve the, uh, the problems. Mm. Which I, and I told myself, the word problem should not exist in my dictionary. Instead, it should be a challenge because it, make, it will make me become stronger and stronger and stronger. School is from 1984 as a just level one educator. Then I was promoted principal of the school in 1997. This area here, the infrastructure, you see, you see, in these days people they want to live in a place where you can get good things like water, road, where. get into the places where they work. You see, the transport in this area is not good, but so that's, so that's affect our enrollment because there is uh, another ill of development. It's a township, in fact, which, is, which has been, um, which is nearby now, which was not there b before. So most of the people are moving from this area to where there is.
Auf Wiedersehen.